and we're rolling. Okay, this is just a tester, tester. How's my face looking? Is the lighting great? I think so. Let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome to another video with 20somethingsomethings.com. My name is Nadine and today I created this super glam look. Um, and I used my Urban Decay Naked uh, Naked Heat palette as well as the Too Faced um, Chocolate Gold palette. Anyways, why am I telling you all this? You're gonna watch it and you're gonna see it. Okay, so if you wanna see how I created this look, go ahead and watch this, the video. First of all, I'm gonna go in with my Max Throw Cream and I'm just gonna apply that to my face. I've run out of primer officially, so <laughs> I'm gonna go get more, so I'm just using some strobe cream in the meantime. Good morning, America. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, is this what my face looks like right now? I look tired as hell, guys. But in my defense, I've been like really sick this week. Yeah, so I got all puffy and things and it just wasn't the vibe. But I'm feeling a lot better, kind of. Um, and obviously I owe you guys a video for this week, so that's why I'm here. Anyways, back to business. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in and we're gonna start with the eyes first as usual. And, oh yeah, I'm going in with Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is in the color C10. If anyone wants to send me makeup, I'm out of primer um, and I'm out of um, Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Define concealer. These are the last days. And I know I say that in every video, but like a girl has been poor, guys. Send money, please. Oh my god, my mom is calling me. Just hang on. Yes, mother. Hello? Mom. Yes, what's up? Yes, why? What? No, I'm at home. Yes. You, what? What do you want? What? <laughs> okay. Sorry about that, guys. I know it sounds like I was very rude to my mom on the phone now, but she was laughing that whole time. So don't worry. She was not offended. But she, she phones me and she's like, can you talk? And I'm like, yes. And she's like, are you driving? I'm like, no, like I can talk, what is it? Get to the point. Like if I was driving, I just spent five minutes telling you that I can talk and I knocked into a car because now I'm telling you that I can talk. You know what I mean? I'm like, phone me, get to the point. So we can all move on with life, you know? So I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Heat as my first um, color. And I'm gonna go in with the color E Devil, which is that one over there. So I'm just gonna grab a lot of that and just put that in on my eye. There we go. Oh, I love this palette, guys. This is one of my favorite palettes in the world. Actually, when it came out, I saw it and I swatched it in the store and I was just like, this is the palette that I need in my life. I like begged for it. I begged my boyfriend for it um, to get it for me for Christmas. And then it's a shame. He like went into Urban Decay like 10 times probably to try and get me this palette. And they were sold out every single time that he went in. Um, so then he ended up buying me a different Urban Decay palette. He bought me the Nocturnal Shadow Box, which is also very nice. It's And it's actually become one of my favorite palettes because I can literally just carry it around my bag and just like use it whenever I need to so it's pretty awesome but then eventually like they only restocked this palette like in April last year so then that's when I bought it off the Urban Decay online store because I just couldn't I couldn't wait any longer for someone to buy it for me so yeah that's what I did so now I'm gonna go in with the color ashes which is on the outside there it's a nice dark color I hope this comes out the way I'm picturing it in my head So I'm putting this on the outside and then moving it into my crease and just doing it right above my crease. And then I'm just going back in with that shade He Devil and just blending up on top of that. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm gonna cut my crease. And let's hope for the best because cutting your crease either works or it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Why is my life falling? So I'm going in with my Cryolin color wheel and I am going to use the concealer shade in that wheel just because it works really well for a cut crease because it applies really nicely. So for concealer I always use the 
this lighter shade over here. It's a nice like medium-ish shade. So I just scrape a little bit of that off, pop it into my tray. Okay, and then I'm going in with my flat concealer brush. And I'm just gonna paint from the inside. Okay, there we go. So I've applied that to my cut crease. And I'm just gonna neaten it up a bit. So I've seen a lot of makeup artists do this where they put the concealer on their cut crease and then they look up and then it like goes, like will show you where your cut crease ends. For me, because I've got such big eyes, um, not big eyes, but like my eyelids are very big. So when I open my eyes like that, like I basically covered most of my cut crease already anyways. So yeah, so I'm just gonna make that a bit neater. So we're just gonna go in and brush it out. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that dark color that I used and just use that to blend it back into the front. Okay, so you see what I did there? I basically just made that transition a lot more subtle and then it's not just like Bam, bam, you know what I mean. Okay, then I'm going in with my Too Faced um, Chocolate Gold Palette. And I've used this palette before, I love it. It's got so many amazing shimmer colors. And then your base colors on the side here. And these shimmer colors are potents. You literally, it's pigment F, 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 as fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this one. Cool, so I'm gonna go in with the color rich girl which might be a bit potent but let's see how it comes out okie dokie so i think that's as much as i'm gonna do with the eyes it's a very aggressive look, but I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. Okay, so let's go in and line this. Um, so I'm gonna use my Essence Liquid Ink. You know that it's my five. Okay, so we open it up. Okay, and then today, to switch things up again, I'm not gonna go in with my Scandalize Well Wings Mascara like I always do. Today, I'm gonna go in with one of my other favorites, my Sorbet Makeup, the Way Out Lashes. I really love this mascara because it gives you a very natural looking um, mascara look. Um, it gives you long lashes, but not thick lashes. So, if you're looking for length, this is your girl. So. If you open it up, you see it's got a very like chilled, spooly thing. And we're just gonna go in and apply. Okay, so look at that. Super natural looking lashes. And there's also a great mascara to use when you're wearing fake lashes because it basically just gives your natural lashes the length to match the fake lashes but doesn't make it look too thick so that it, you can see the difference between the two. There we go. See, super chilled, super subtle. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Okay, so today I'm feeling special. So we're gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. And this is in the color 300. Basically, I love Fenty Beauty. It is amazing. So we're just gonna blot some of this on. And now, because I've got these black bags under my eyes, I'm gonna go in and just do a bit of color correcting. So I'm using my Switch Beauty Holy Grail Flash Case. I can never get the name right. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the red color over here. Cool, so what I just did is I took some of that Essence Color Correcting Palette, like what I had left, so it's like that red clay color over there. And then I took from the flash case the potent red over there. So I'm just gonna mix those in together and then apply that just under my eye. 
and I'm actually just going to do that with my finger. I'm just going to dab it in there. So I know I look like a vampire right now, but this red just neutralizes the dark colors under your eyes so that you're not walking around looking like you're carrying bags with you. So to conceal, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty matchsticks and this is in the color maple and I'm not going to apply it straight on because just because I don't want to get red all over the stick. So I'm just going to use a brush and just brush that in. So you can see that red really like helped neutralize the black bags on my eyes. I probably did put on a little bit too much because I had to really conceal, conceal to get rid of the redness again. But like it looks a lot better than it would have looked if I had just put the concealer straight onto my skin. Okay, then as usual to bronze, I'm going in with my MAC bronzing powder, my ride or die. And then I'm going in with my Catrice blusher and it looks like this. I can't tell you what, like I honestly God, I don't know what it's called anymore. But I've had it for like a year now and it's like my ride or die blush. I'm using the middle color just because it really works really quite nice with my skin. Cool. And then to finish it off, I think for highlighter, I'm gonna go with my Benefit Girl Meet Pearl. Um, this was like one of my first highlighters that I ever bought. I tested it in the store because like I had never used Benefit before and I was like, ooh, this brand that everyone's making a fuss about, let me check it out. And I swatched this and I fell in love with it. So it literally like you you pump, you turn this and then it pumps the product out there. But it comes out quite potent, so you don't wanna apply too much of it. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping it onto the product, tapping that onto my hand just to neutralize it a little bit and then applying it to my face. Okay, you'll notice I didn't do my brows just because I'm going for a natural brow look. I don't want the eyes to, the brows to overpower the eyes. So I'm just going in with my spoolie and I always like to just spray it with some NYX finishing spray. Just that, and then just apply that in there and that just helps keep my eyebrows in place because I've got some naughty eyebrows guys and now what shall we do on the lips I'm going in with the MAC um, retro uh, retro matte liquid lip color this is in the color dance with me it's my favorite color in the world and it's, I'm literally also on the last of this so if you don't know what to buy me for Christmas or my birthday this is your girl Okay guys, so that is the finished look. Super glam. It's a look that you can do for a night out, if you're going out to party, um, if you, even if you're going to like a dinner that's gonna turn into a late night. It's a lovely glam look that's also got a nice subtle darkness to it. I came up with it on the spot, so if it was a bit messy, it was just because I didn't know what I was gonna do when I saw this video, and this is where we ended up, so yay. Um, yeah, super easy. I think you'll be able to do it at home. So give it a try. And if you do try it, please tag me and let me know. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And also, follow me on all the social things. Um, all of my links up will be in the description. Or it will come up at the end of the video as well. Okay. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.